I'm Mr. Clifford, and this is ACDC Econ. Key concepts in 60 seconds. Today we're going to talk about price controls with supply and demand. Your teacher just taught you supply and demand. Now they're going to talk about ceilings and floors. It's on the AP test, it's all over the place. You got to understand it, you got to know, know what the effect is on the market. Here we go. Let's start over here. Let's look at a price ceiling. A price ceiling is going to go under equilibrium. What? A ceiling under? That's weird. A price ceiling actually makes sense. A price ceiling is a cap to avoid the price to go up to equilibrium. So let's say equilibrium price was 10. The government says you can't sell it for more than 5. The end result of this price ceiling is now the price is down. When price is down, consumers are like, yeah, I want to buy more of them. And producers at a low price, they don't want to buy or they don't want to produce very many of them. So this is the quantity supplied. The quantity demand is way over here. We are at disequilibrium. There's more quantity that people want than the quantity producers are making. We have a shortage. The result of a price ceiling is a shortage. Down here, a price floor. A floor is a basement, right? You can't go through the floor. Let's say the floor is at $10. Equilibrium price was at five. Now the quantity supplied is here. The quantity demanded is here. And now, as you can see, we have a surplus, right? At this high price, producers want to produce more. Consumers don't want to buy as many. We have a surplus. We are done. Until next time.